Wisconsin is on a high. The town can finally exhale after 88 agonizing days of mounting pressure, sleepless nights, and dashed hopes, starting on that terrible October night. I've been doing this for over 20 years, and it's a crime scene like you rarely see. It's going to take a toll on our people. No one could grasp the cruelty of a double murder and kidnapping of an innocent 13-year-old girl. Even seasoned investigators were baffled, says Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald. We don't know why, how, um, you know, we don't know who made the 911 call. It's scary. And you don't know what to expect anymore, no matter where you're at. <laughs> Law enforcement launched a massive search for the five foot, 100 pound Jamie Claus. We've searched the school, we've met with her friends, working with anybody that may have any bit of information. That afternoon, authorities issued a statewide Amber Alert. We have well, a 13 year old girl has vanished, and we need to get a hold of her to make sure she's okay. We all have the same goal in mind, and that is to bring Jamie home. The entire community joined in prayer and hope. We will overcome. I'm hoping and praying with God's help and the community that we all rally around each other and help find this girl and bring her home. But it was not looking very hopeful. We don't have any leads at this time. At day's end, Sheriff Fitzgerald sent out an urgent plea for help to the people of Barron. The public should share the photo. Um, they should share a Facebook page. They should sh share this newscast, whatever it is. Uh, anybody that can get information about where she might be. Slowly, the world began to learn a little bit about the eighth grader who disappeared without a trace. Her aunt and godmother, Jennifer Smith. If Jamie is the sweetest little girl, she wouldn't hurt a soul. A sentiment echoed by the school superintendent, Diane Tremblay. Jamie wrote on one of her assignments. In response to the question, what would you do if you were given a million dollars? She said, feed the hungry and give the rest to the poor. Sheriff Fitzgerald knew Jamie Kloss was in danger. He also knew time was of the essence. Every second counts in this case. Sheriff, have you questioned any people of interest? We follow up on every tip. The Sheriff's Department joined forces with law enforcement agencies across the country. More than 100 officers combed through neighborhoods and searched for clues. The Barron County Sheriff says they're using infrared technology and drones to help in their search. FBI Special Agent in Charge, Justin Tolomeo, offered the Bureau's full support. The FBI, along with our law enforcement partners, is committed to finding Jamie quickly and ask for the public's help in making that happen. Over 200 tips came flooding in. Jamie's Amber Alert webpage got 30,000 hits, and friends like Melissa Salmonson organized a prayer vigil. Everyone's feeling very helpless right now. Day four and still no leads. The sheriff asked for 100 volunteers to search the area. Here, go ahead, next door, six, seven. 300 people showed up and dozens had to be turned away. I got granddaughters and a daughter, so I don't want this stuff to happen anymore. The days wore on with no sign of the missing teenager, no sign of her abductor. I'm terrified. I'm, I, I want to stay in my home where I know that I'm safe, that I can keep my baby safe. Despite their fears, the people of this close-knit community kept hope alive tips kept coming in. We've received over 1,300 tips in our community and from across the nation. We have closed 1,100 of those. The FBI offered a $25,000 reward, an amount later doubled by Jenny O'Turkey, the Kloss's employer. The sheriff called upon more citizens to join in the investigation. We are asking for about 2,000 volunteers to walk specific areas in or around the crime scene to help with our investigation. They came in droves. They swarmed the area in line formation, through the woods, across the streams, and into the cornfields. I believe she's still alive. I believe she's still out there. 
and the hope is what we're riding on, and that's what we're going to go with. But in the middle of all this hope came a solemn reminder of what was lost. Two people who were deeply loved, James and Denise Kloss, Jamie's mom and dad. Why? Why? They're normal people. Why would you? They don't bother nobody. They don't. They go to work. They go home. They're, they're about their families. As time passed, the leaves dried up and the cold reality set in. 18 days into this investigation, still no suspect and no sign of Jamie Claus. Investigators who had set up shop in the command center started leaving town. You know, we were averaging sometimes between 100 to 250 a day. Now we're down to that 25-ish range. So we need to scale back the operation itself from our 24-7 operation. The story slowly slipped from the headlines, and life for the most part went back to normal. But the people of Barron never forgot Jamie Claus. Lord, Jamie's family has been searching for 77 days in great anguish for their loved one. On day 77, people of all ages and walks of life called upon the spirit of Christmas to bring Jamie home. Jamie's uncle, Mike Kloss, addressed the crowd. Our families, like you, we just, we just want Jamie home. That wish was about to come true. 